a Raman microscope must always be well calibrated to yield reliable data. Today, I will talk about how to calibrate a Raman microscope. Usually, silicon standard like this here is used for calibration. It is inserted into microscope, targeted, and a special calibration routine is run. This can take between some minutes to 20 minutes and should be repeated after every grating or laser change. Doesn't sound like much effort at first. But if your Rama microscope is in constant demand with various settings and you require pristine data, the necessary waiting time can quickly pile up. So why not get started and test the current calibration of our Centera 2? This is a live spectrum by using a 532 nanometer laser. The Raman peak for silicon appears at a Raman shift of 520.7 wave number. Let's switch to the 785 nanometer laser and compare. The Raman peak is found at 520.7 wave number again and compare with the literature this is exactly where it is supposed to be. But wait, did I not just say that calibration is always needed between laser changes? Yes. And it is true for other Raman microscopes, but not for Centera 2. Simply put, a Centera 2 must never be manually calibrated. It does it completely automatically with a high wave number stability of 0.1 wave number. This makes the reliable detection of small Raman line shifts possible, for example, to assess sample factors like stress, strain, or molecular interaction. And it also guarantees reproducible quantification results, more accurate substance identification, and artifact-free spectral subtraction. So how do you calibrate a good Raman microscope? Exactly, you don't have to. Thanks for watching.